Okay, so here we are again for another pharmacy math solution. Now, let me read this problem for you really quickly. So it states, if a physician prescribes 250 milligrams QID, which stands for four times a day, for 10 days, how many milliliters of Keflex oral suspension that contains 250 milligrams by five milliliters should be dispensed. So let's break it down like this. This problem, I promise you, it's not as hard as you think. All right, so let's look at it. What are they asking us for? So they're asking us for how many milliliters? Let's just leave it at how many milliliters. We'll, we'll say how many milliliters of Keflex, okay? So that's, of course, the name of the medication, right? Okay, so now let's look at what we have. So we know that 250 milligrams is in every five milliliters of this particular medication, okay? So this is basically a concentration that they've given us here, all right? So something else that we know is that they would like to know the amount for QID, which is actually four times per day, all right? So now, if they're saying that they asked us how many milliliters of this concentration should be dispensed if the patient is going to be taking 250 milligrams four times a day, for 10 days, all right? Just follow me. Okay, so now that we know all this information and it's broken down, let's do the work here. So basically what you're gonna do, it's already a given. You know that they're gonna have to take 250 milligrams for four, four times per day. So 250 milligrams is in five milliliters of this solution, okay? So all you would basically do is pretty much already uh, established for you. So you would say 250 mg by 5 ml times what? Four, because they have to do this amount four times per day. So once you do that math, you should get 1,000 milligrams for every, let's see, four times five, 20 milliliters. Now, they also said that it is for how many days, right? So we're not quite finished yet. This is for how many days, 10 days. So we don't even need this MG anymore because they asked how many milliliters, all right? So we would basically take this 20 and multiply it because this 20 milliliters represents how much the patient needs for one day. Now we need to know how many for 10 days. So basically you would say 20 times 10, and this is gonna give you 200 milliliters. Look at your units, does it match? Absolutely it does. So the answer for this problem is 200 milliliters of the Keflex oral suspension medication. And that's simple and plain, that's how you do that problem.